Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with design of reinforced concrete elements in the topic of design of uh, rectangle water tank. So the design is design a rectangle water tank of internal dimension of 10 meter into 3 meter into 3 meter. The tank to be provided in underground. The surrounding of the tank get wet. The angle of internal friction is 30 degree if the dry soil. So, if case uh, the soil is in wet state, so the angle of internal friction is 6 degree. Add up working stress, then saturated unit weight of uh, soil is 20 kN per meter cube, then uh, add up M20 and Fe415 steel. Okay, so now the given values, so gamma equal to 20 kN per meter cube, so gamma saturation equal to 20 kN per meter cube, then fck value fck equal to 20 newton per mm square so then fy value is 415 newton per mm square okay so then phi is 30 degree if case the dry soil so if case uh, the soil is in wet condition the phi equal to 6 degree okay so these are all the given values so then l equal to 10 meter then D depth equal to 3 meter then width equal to 3 meter okay so these are all the given values so now we can take the solution so first step is we can find out the permissible stresses so permissible stress for M20 grade concrete sigma CT value is 1.2 Newton per mm square okay so we can obtain this value from IS3370 part 2 in table number 1 page number 7 okay so then Fe415 steel so we got the value of sigma ST equal to 150 Newton per mm square okay so this value obtained from the same is code in table 2 page number 8 okay so we can refer the is double 370 part 2 okay so next thing is uh, for m 20 grade concrete sigma cbc value is 7 newton per mm square okay so this can be obtained from is 456 page number 81 table number 21 okay so these are all the uh, values obtained from the is codes so now m equal to we can find out from the formula 280 divided by 3 into sigma c b c okay so now uh, 280 divided by uh, 3 into sigma c b c value is 7 so now we got the value of 13.33 okay so next thing is n value so n equal to the formula is 1 divided by 1 plus sigma st divided by sigma cbc into m. Okay, now we can substitute 1 divided by 1 plus sigma st values 150 divided by sigma cbc is 7 into 13.3 okay so now uh, we got the value of n equal to 0 0.382 so next thing is we can find out the j value so j equal to 1 minus n divided by 3 so now 1 minus n equal to 0 0.382 divided by 3 so now we got the value of j equal to 0 0.801 so these values very much helpful to find out the uh, reinforcement okay so next step is design of base slab so the design steps contains uh, majorly four parts that is design of base slab then design of long wall then design of short wall then design of roof slab okay so first thing is we can uh, design the base slab so now the effective depth so we can find out the effective depth so uh, span by effective depth equal to 20 okay so now uh, we can get uh, span is 3000 divided by effective depth we have to find out so 20 is over here so equal to 20 equal to d so the d go that side so now d equal to 150 mm 
okay so this is a simply supported slab so now uh, we can uh, get the value from the 20 from the is456 okay so now uh, provide 200 mm as a depth okay so 150 mm is very uh, less so we can provide to uh, 200 mm so plus cover thickness is 30 mm so now the overall depth equal to 230 mm okay so effective depth is 200 mm and then overall depth is uh, 230 mm okay this is small d and this is capital let d okay so next thing is load calculation So load calculation first thing is self weight so now self weight of slab so the 1 meter span into depth is to 0 0.230 into 25 that is unit weight of concrete so now we got the value of 5.75 kilo newton per meter okay so then next thing is live load so live load is not given so now we can take uh, for 1 meter span 1 into 1 meter span now 1 kilo newton per meter okay so next thing is finishes load so flow finish we can take 0 0.5 kilo newton per meter into 1 meter span that is equal to 0 0.5 kilo newton per meter okay so totally we have 7.25 kilo newton per meter okay so next thing is uh, we can find out the factor load so factor load w u equal to 7.25 into 1.5 so 1.5 is a factor of safety now we got the value of 10.875 okay so now we can round off 11 kilo newton per meter okay so next thing is maximum moment so mu equal to w u l square divided by 8 okay so this is simply supported beam so we can uh, use the formula w u w u l square divided by 8 so w u value is 11 into l square value is 3 square divided by 8 okay so now we got the value of 12.375 kilo newton meter okay so this is the maximum moment so now you can find out the reinforcement that is AST equal to the formula is a moment divided by sigma st into j into d okay so now we can uh, substitute all the values over here so 12 into 3 so 12.375 uh, into 10 power 6 and we can take an as uh, newton mm so divided by sigma st is 150 newton per mm square into j value is 0 0.81 we already found out and d value is 200 so depth is 200 so mm so now we got the value of 509.25 okay so that is equal to 510 mm square okay so now we can provide so provide 12 mm dia bars at spacing is 200 mm center to center okay so next thing is distribution reinforcement so that is 0 0.12 percentage of bd okay so now we can take 0 0.12 divided by 100 into b value is uh, 1000 into d value is 230 okay so now we got the value of 276 that is equal to 300 mm square so the distribution reinforcement we can provide 10 mm dia bars at 300 mm spacing center to center okay so this is the design of base lab so next thing is we can uh, design the long wall after that we can design the short wall so now design of uh, long wall so now we can calculate the pressure so pressure equal to gamma into h into k a okay so now the coefficient of active earth pressure so the gamma value is 20 into h is 3 meter into the k a value is 1 minus sin phi divided by 1 plus sin phi so the 1 minus sin phi value is 6 degree uh, because it is in wet condition 1 plus sin phi value okay so now we got the value of pressure equal to 48.64 kilo newton per meter square okay so we can take for one meter length 
So for 1 meter length pressure equal to 48.64 into 1 meter that is equal to 48.64 kilo Newton per meter. Okay, so now we can calculate the moment. So there is a two uh, option is there. So the near the water phase and away from the water phase. So near the water phase the maximum moment equal to the formula is P H square divided by 33.5 okay so away from the water phase the maximum moment equal to P H square divided by 15 okay so now uh, we can substitute all the values over here so 48.64 into 3 square divided by 33.5 so that is equal to 13.06 kilo newton meter okay so then away from the uh, water water uh, phase that is 48.64 into 3 square divided by 15 okay so we got the value of 29.18 kilo newton meter okay so now we can calculate the reinforcement So now reinforcement, so before the reinforcement we can uh, find out the depth of uh, thick, depth or thickness of the wall. So now the formula sigma ct equal to moment divided by b d square divided by 6. Okay, so now the d equal to root of 6m divided by sigma ct into b. So now we can substitute. Uh, 6 into 29.18 we can uh, take in the highest moment into 10 power 6 we can convert into Newton mm so root sigma ct value so sigma ct value is 1.2 Newton per mm square into b value is 1000 so now we got the value of d equal to 381.96 so now we got uh, we can take the d equal to 400 mm okay so now we can reduce the cover thickness of 40 mm that is uh, effective depth equal to 360 mm okay so now we can calculate the reinforcement so ast at water phase so ast at water phase so now ast equal to so the water phase moment 13.06 into 10 power 6 divided by sigma st that is 150 into j values 0.81 into d is effective depth is 360 we found out okay so now we got the value of 3 sorry 298.1 mm square okay so now provide 18 mm dia bars at 300 mm center to center okay so next thing is AST away from the water phase so AST away from the water phase so AST equal to so the moment is 29.18 into 10 power 6 divided by 150 into 0 0.81 into 360 okay so now we got a value of 668 mm square so now we can provide same 18 mm dia bars at 300 mm center to center okay so now the distribution reinforcement So now the distribution reinforcement is 0.3 percentage of BD okay so now we can take 0.3 divided by 100 into 1000 into depth is 400 so now we got the value of 1200 mm square okay so now we can provide 100 sorry uh, 10 mm dia bars at 450 mm center to center okay so next thing is design of short wall
so for design of short wall we don't take uh, water phase and uh, away from the water phase so now simply we can take the moment equal to p l square divided by 12 okay so now the p value is 48.64 into l value is 3.4 square divided by 12 so now we got the value of 46.856 kilonewton meter okay so now we can calculate the reinforcement that is ast equal to 46.856 into 10 power 6 divided by sigma st value is 150 into j value is 0 0.81 into the effective depth uh, value is 360 so now we got the value of 1071.2 mm square okay so now we can provide same 18 mm dia bars at 300 mm center to center okay so likewise we can provide the distribution reinforcement so provide 10 mm dia bars at 450 mm center to center okay so next thing is design of roof slab so now the thickness we can assume the thickness is 150 mm okay so now we can calculate the loads again we can calculate like base slab that is first is lead load so dead load equal to 1 meter into 0 0.15 into 25 that is equal to 3.75 kilonewton per meter. So then live load. So live load is we can take 1.5 kilonewton per meter for 1 meter span. So then finishes load. So finish load we can take 0 0.5 kilonewton per meter. So uh, adding all those things we got the value of 5.75 kilonewton per meter. Okay so again calculate the factor load. So factor load equal to 5.75 into 1.5 that is factor of safety we got the value of 8.625 kilonewton per meter okay so next thing is we can calculate the moment so moment equal to w l square by 12 sorry w l square by 8 so now we got the value of 8.626 into l values 3.4 square divided by 8 okay so now we got the value of 12.46 kilonewton meter okay so now we can find out the depth so depth is uh, we, we assumed the depth so now the depth is safe or uh, not we have to check so now mu e limit equal to 0 0.138 fck b d square okay so using the formula we can find out the dia, uh, depth so that is 12.46 into 10 power 6 equal to 0 0.138 fck value is 20 into b value is 1000 into d square so from that uh, d square we can find out the d value so d is uh, 67 mm so we provide the effective depth is uh, 1 50 sorry 120 mm okay so overall depth is 120 150 mm so the effective depth is 120 mm so uh, we can provide the uh, more than requirement so now hence the save okay so now we can provide the ast equal to so the moment is 12.46 into 10 power 6 again sigma st value the same 150 into j value 0 0.81 into d value is 120 okay so effective depth is 150 here is the overall depth so d is 150 and d is 120 mm okay so here is the overall depth so now we got the value of 785 mm square okay so now we can provide 12 mm dia bars at 300 mm center to center okay so now the distribution reinforcement again 0 0.12 percentage of bd so into b value is 1000 into 150 okay so now we got a value of 180 mm square so now we can provide 10 mm dia bars at 450 mm center to center okay so this is the method we can design the underground rectangle water tank again we will see next video thank you